In my practice, we take care of a lot of patients who are trapped with narcotic therapy. We try to give them a way out to show them that there's something else they can do for their pain outside of narcotic management. And again, unfortunately, they've been uh, relatively nervous to try this, but so often they want to get off these narcotics because it's a challenge for them to obtain. It's tough for them to work in certain uh, places with narcotics in their urine, and they just feel trapped. They want to get out. And again, as an anesthesiologist and pain physician, we want to help you to get out. So again, one thing you should consider is co-analgesic therapy. That's a fancy word for other medications that are not narcotics, but actually have analgesic or pain qualities. First off would be tricyclic antidepressants. That's a very fancy word for an antidepressant. Again, these were from the 1960s. They're oldies but goodies. They're dirt cheap. They usually pay, put patients to sleep. And the majority of my patients in my clinical practice, as well as throughout the country, who deal with patients with chronic pain often have sleep disturbances. And again, if we can give you a medication that helps with pain and sleep, we're going to be ahead of the game. Other medications that one should consider would be anti-seizure medication. Again, I know you don't have a seizure disorder, but if you think of nerve pain as just firing for no particular reason, it's sort of like a seizure for no particular reason. So again, Using concomitant therapy of perhaps a Neurontin, or the other term is called gabapentin, or Lyrica, or pregabulin, or any other ones of the anti-seizure medications you want to use is certainly appropriate. And again, if you've tried one, that does not mean that one class of medication doesn't work. Pair it with something else. And again, you tend to get more bang for your buck. The last medication I just want to talk to you about is a medication called clonidine. Clonidine is a blood pressure medication. It's been around since the 70s. But we found out that it helps extremely well with pain. And again, it works on receptors to help with the transmission of pain. Also, if you're suffering from opiate addiction, it can prevent with any signs of withdrawals, which can be very uncomfortable for patients. Thanks for watching.